In this video, we're going to discuss our online payment integration. With Triple Seed's online payment integrations, your guests can make payments directly on their guest portal, or they can authorize a credit card or ACH bank account for you to hold and charge at any time. Let's take a look at how the online payment integration works with our test event here. We've already added a set of documents to this event and have indicated on the documents what the deposit should be for this event. Now, we want our customers to pay that deposit, in addition to signing off on terms and conditions. To do this, we want to share at least one of these layouts. This will create a secure connection and activate the payment portal for your guest. Please note that if you only send this link from your regular email, this won't activate the payment portal. You'll either need to send a discussion email through Triple Seat or directly share documents from this Docs tab. You have a few other options when it comes to sharing the payment portal. You can share the guest portal itself by going to the actions button on the event, clicking share, and sending a discussion message. You can also go to the payments tab and next to the created payment, click the gear icon and choose request payment. The final option you have is clicking on the credit cards tab and using the gear icon to request a credit card authorization from your customer. Any of these options will give your customer a link to access their payment portal. For our example here, we're going to share the contract with the customer. Make sure you are clicking share as using the link button next to share would not generate a payment portal for your customer. When you click share, you'll choose an email template to send alongside the document. Once sent, your guest will receive an email with a link containing the shared documents and any payments attached. Please note that the email your customer received creates a unique link to log into the guest portal and cannot be shared. This means that if your customer forwards the email to someone else, that person would not be able to access the payment portal. Once they click on that link, they are able to come in and check out event details, as well as the document that was just shared. With an online payment integration, your customer will have the option to click Pay Online on the left-hand side, which will bring them directly into the Payments tab within their portal. From here, the guest will have the option to select Pay Now next to any outstanding amount. If all you require is a card on file to secure the event rather than a payment made, the customer will also have the option to enter in their credit card information or their bank account information here. This information will store in the event and with the authorization, you can charge their account at any time. The guest also has the option to check off Keep Card on File for future bookings if they decide to book any event at your venue in the future. Once authorized, or once a payment is made online, the owner of this event will receive an email notification, as well as a globe icon at the top of the page. On the Payments tab in the event, you'll see that next to the credit card there is a 1. This indicates there is a card on file for this event. If they had made the payment themselves, this deposit would automatically show as paid. But because it was just authorized, not run, let me show you how you would process this transaction in Triple C. From the gears icon on the payments tab, you're going to select pay, then select credit card as the payment method from the dropdown. This will automatically load in the guest card information and then you click submit. Note that you could only access the last four digits of this card, the full number will not be able to be extracted for PCI compliance. If you have any questions, please reach out to the support team at support at